What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. And, well, I was just about to say she uh, was doing a lot better. Apparently not though. So I took her out without a hook and I think she still wants to bite me. So that's not really working out very well. So we'll let her calm down just a little bit. And I was going to say how nice she has become and she's still super defensive but a beautiful snake vpi aztec 2021 and this girl is hit or miss so still trying to bond with her um still trying to make that good bond and just interact with her as much as i can i did have a five day time when I went on vacation last week where I could not interact with her so I think that kind of set us back a little bit but as you can see kind of holding her letting her run through my hands is uh kind of helping but I'm sure she'll try to bite me again and this girl as you can see the patterns on her are amazing really nice colors on her and I think a lot of people are starting to like the VPI stuff even though it is a little pricey I really think that they are worth it uh, if, if you're a collector or, or if you're just in the hobby or definitely if you're a breeder. But uh, a lot of pinks, a lot of whites on her. And then the tail on her is just beyond phenomenal. So they are the caramel albino. They're not a true albino, but they do have a lot of the characteristics of the albino. And so, well, she's getting better. She's very curious though once she is out and about. But I did I did pick her up without a hook, and so I don't really know why she bit me. Probably a little skittish, probably a little scared. Uh, you know, some bright lights coming out of her her little box that she lives in, a little prison cell. So we'll put her back, and I'll show you guys some sheds that happened. And try not to get bit again, but. That is all part of it when we have little babies. So, all right, we'll check out the other VPI since we've had her out. So this is 2021. Uh, VPI jungle, and she's way, 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 way in the back. I really don't like when they're in the back because these ARS racks don't have stoppers on them. Uh, so it's barely tilting on there so any shift up here in the front would definitely knock this off track and then bedding goes everywhere and then the snake goes flying so most of these snakes are extremely docile easy to handle and we can see that this girl is she just has phenomenal colors on her so uh, this is john john chosmer uh, production right here Really nice lines down the back for the jungle. Beautiful tail on her. Very bright, bold colors. And 2021 as well. It is a little difficult to handle some of these smaller ones. Just because they're really thin and it makes me nervous. Like I'm going to squish them or something. But she's doing well, eating well, pooping well. Uh, let's check out one of the bull pythons. That just shed out. Here we go. So this is a Justin Kabulka uh, ball python. It's a leopard, orange dream, enchi pied, and really, really awesome colors. Bold, bold colors on this one. Uh, nice oranges, nice yellows, nice black stripings. Really wicked eyes on this one. And just a really clean snake all the way around. So, really excited to have him. Possible uh, future breeder, even though I really don't have that much to even put him to. It's, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens though. We all have to start somewhere. Oh, I wanted to show you this female right here. It's, it's been probably never since I've had a perfect shed of a, with the true red tail. Uh, in the ARS rack, so this is definitely an awesome sight to see right here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. 
We'll just set that over there. And this girl is eating very well, shedding amazing, but not growing. And I don't know why. So this is a uh, true red tail. It's a Guyana. I posted a picture of her on Instagram and people wanted to know what morph she was. And it's not a morph. It's just this is how they are naturally in the wild. Um, there's quite a few different true red tails, but this is just the Guyana one. Beautiful patterns on the, on the saddles, really nice head markings, beautiful tail on her, bright reds with the bright whites. It just, I think everybody needs a true red tail in their collection, whether it's the Serenams, the Guyanas, the Peruvians. I know there's a few others, but any of them are just phenomenal looking. So, I still have to get Pop-Tart uh, her water since she pooped in there. Here she is here. I did have the door open before I started the video. She was way in the back of her house and she moseyed on out. When, if I leave the door open, it's like she knows it's open and she'll find her way out. Um, I don't have a problem with her free roaming in the room. I just don't like her going behind this, uh, this cage because there's a very thin area between the cage and the wall she likes to sit back there and it takes forever to get her out and she doesn't like to come out and it gets her all riled up and i really don't want to stress her out or make her angry uh, let's check this boy out so he ate for me ate a rat pup well actually i think it was more like a weaned it was a little it was definitely bigger than a rat pup no issues poop just fine no diarrhea or anything like that so it's the leopard yellow belly clown from Justin as well. Beautiful markings, bright colors, bold colors, bold markings on him. And it's really cool how the sides go all the way around with the circles. And then the head, the head is really cool looking as well. So, uh, there we go, his belly. Kinda, kinda looking for some of the, the yellow belly on it. The markings and then we we'll put him back so he's still new who do we have over here trying to escape uh mountain dew so i give her fresh water today she pooped in it i need to feed her again as well and here we go we can look at her so i mean pretty much once you've seen one Green anaconda, you've seen them all, but there's a almost three-year-old anaconda and a one-and-a-half-ish anaconda. So they do, eh, yeah, I would say, I'd say they have a good growth growth rate on them if you feed them right. Um, Pop-Tart's probably almost four-and-a-half, five feet, but it's nothing ridiculous for being three. That's for sure. Um, she is lengthwise, um, probably is the same size as some of my four-year-old, three, yeah, I'd say three and a half, four-year-old, um, regular bows, but I mean, she's not as thick as a lot of them. I do change her water consistently though. Um, uh, we can look at her really fast. I know I'm just kind of like all over the place right now, but who doesn't like to look at random snakes? This lady right here is eating like a champ. So I got this one from Will Banks. It's the Fire and She Clown female. And awesome marking on her head. Really cool patterns. And since she's a fire, she should keep her colors and her brightness um, as she grows up. So she shouldn't fade out too, too much. So exciting possibilities with her. Um, we all know we have like two years because they take for, I'm not going to say take, take forever, but was, are the ones that take like four years or five to try to breed. So I think we can wait two and a, to two and a half on the, um, ball pythons. And then this female right here shed out 
This girl is kind of hard to get her colors to show. Um, she is a Enchi Ivory, so it's the super yellow belly. And then she's a Pied, so you can see the some of the Pied markings on her. And then she does have a pure white belly, so pretty unique looking, I think, marking on her head. And then really cool uh, markings on her body, so. We'll see what happens with her. And that's also from Justin, so. Growing nicely for 2021. All of the ball pythons in the room are on rats, which is really, really exciting, so. I guess that'll be it. I gotta fill her water up. Um, just do some other basic maintenance in the room and vacuum the floor since it gets dirty every day. So appreciate the support. Appreciate you guys watching the videos. Hopefully you guys liked seeing some of the animals. And I'll see you guys on the next video.